Hey everybody, welcome back to In the Kitchen with Ken. Today we're gonna to be cooking up some jerk chicken and it's gonna be delicious, nice little heat to it. We're gonna start off with about a fourth of cup of apple cider and this is gonna be the marinade we soak our chicken in. I've got a half a cup of lemon juice and a half a cup of lime juice. I've got a little bit of brown sugar I'm gonna put down in here. I've got some pineapple, about half of a pineapple all chopped up. Then I've got a little bit of heat here. We've got four nice hot jalapenos, some cayennes, an onion, a little garlic. I get all that, I get all that. Let's get that down in there. There we go. Let's get that mixed up. Now we've got our seasoning. Now here I've got a little bit of thyme. I've got some allspice, some ground cinnamon. Also added in there, some of that Eighth Wonder Spice Rub that's made here locally. Let me give that a try. Salt and pepper to taste. Start getting this all mixed up. And our last little thing we're going to put in there is a pica pepper Jamaican sauce. Put about a tablespoon in there. A little bit more, probably. Alright. Almost left out one ingredient for you. Also to this, we're going to add about four tablespoons of an extra virgin olive oil. All right, that'll help soak all of this stuff into that chicken. Now I've got about four pounds of thighs and drumsticks that are in the kitchen, in the kitchen, in the refrigerator. And we're gonna take this mixture and pour it all over the top of them. Okay, now here's our chicken. The one thing about this dish that takes a lot of time is you've gotta let this marinade for at least two hours, preferably overnight, 24 hours. Some people even let it go 48, but I wouldn't let it go any, any further than that. But we're gonna take this, pour this over the top, just cover all of it. in here with your fingers. Kind of mix this all around. You can see that seasoning. Now if you wanted to, I'm just putting this on cold. You could actually start heating your oil first. I'm going to take some of this and tuck it down in some of these thighs. Get that seasoning all down in there. Um, and start heating it and put this in there and let it kind of cook up to a nice little paste. Just kind of cook down. But we're gonna take this, place it in our refrigerator overnight. It soaked for about 24 hours, as soon as I get all this kind of tucked down in here. And what's gonna happen is, the chicken is gonna just absorb all of the flavor from your peppers. Now I use cayenne and jalapeno peppers. Um, traditionally, for a jerk chicken, you would use a scotch bonnet or habanero pepper. Um, I didn't want it too hot for the kids, so I went that route. If you want to swap that out in my recipe, you certainly can use that instead. Now we're going to take this, cover it up, put it in the refrigerator. But of course, I've already got some made up. But this one is a little bit chunkier than the one I just did. I can't wait to get it outside and get it on the grill. You can see it's already soaked up a lot of that flavor. We're gonna take it now, put it outside on the grill, see how we do. All right, you got these on the grill. We're gonna let them cook probably three to five minutes on either side. Keep an eye on them though, if you've got them in a really hot spot. Um, you can see they're flaming up really good. Um, you want a little bit of black on them just to give them that extra taste, but you don't wanna burn it to death. Um, you see how that one kind of get, get away. This has gotten a little bit too black, but it, it'll be okay. This one's kind of okay. Once you get to a certain point where you think you've got it charred a little bit, pull them off to the side and it'll cook probably about, for about 30 to 45 minutes until they reach about 165 degrees on the inside. Now with your leftover marinade, you can take that and put it in a little pot. Kind of cook it down almost till the onions kind of caramelize. 
and then you can take that and place it over the top of your chicken, almost like a sauce. It'll make it a lot spicier. It's got a great flavor to it too, and you don't want to waste it. All right, now that our chicken's been cooking out on the grill, probably for about 45 minutes, I let it cook a little bit longer. It wasn't getting as done as I thought it would. Um, we're gonna go pull it off and give it a try. All right, let's see how this looks. Yeah, they are looking good. Get a little caramelized, a little color on top. Look at how pretty that looks. All right, check that out. How good does that look? All right, let's give this a try. Good. Get down inside here. Piece looks nice and moist. Mm. I love cooking chicken on a grill like that. It's so good. Got a little heat to it. Really nice flavor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this re week's recipe and I hope you give it a try. We'll see you next time on In the Kitchen with Ken. Bye now.